What's up, my fellow humans? So today we're playing. Spawn has awoken. Uh, what a, a momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world, Spawn. Uh, hang on. Spawn number 76. I am fate, I am the keeper of the world order. I don't care much for me. Can I be fate? Another ironic one? Great. No. I don't know why I'm being this. No, you can call yourself the Guru Member because this is what you are. Okay. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis. Cosmopolis. City Subdivision Number 4. This is Sun County 1. I know what you're thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and try not to destroy the world. Yes? <laughs> oh my god, let's right? Yes. <coughs> Everything clear. Uh, will I get paid? Oh, we're so certain you will be fairly compensated for every accurate choice you make. Marking profiles correctly is the most important part. If you mark more or less than required, I will have to dock your pay. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the daily amount. You will still be provided with some extra. And perhaps, eventually, a place where a peer will salary is actually useful. Do not get your hopes up right now, though. Now I need to tell you the details of your job. Every day I will send you the profiles of some people. Your job is to mark the files with the marker of death. Choosing the people who have to die. And you fax the files back to me. Any specific daily requirements will also be noted in the letter. Please follow the rules or I will have to fire you. And remember, the fate of the world is in your hands. The humans, you see, are constantly on the paths of the great dying. They cannot balance themselves. They create endless chaos in the We are here to keep the chaos in check. We are here to keep them from falling off the greasy pice. As such, your actions will have consequences. Alright. Uh, I was born to do this, not really. Yes, yes, you were. Literally. Okay, let us begin. I'll show you two more things. One more thing. This will be your seven day. This will be your seven day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed and either deemed fit or not. We cannot let anyone choose. So, one week is to show us what you're made of. I mean, aside from the ingredients you are made of. Here are the files on the humans who are, life who are in a life threatening situation within your domain. No difficult rules and requests yet. I am allowing you to settle in. Rules for day. Mark one human perish with the marker. Send me the files and unpack your name. We have what's going on? Massive wildfire that threatens to engulf the whole wine region. 
At least I still have my trusty film good for procrastinating and scrolling to Quaker. Look closer. Am I supposed to read it from here? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. An idiot. Uh, Jewel Gray, he's 35, he's a biochemist. Jewel was born in the countryside but moved to the big city for university. Likes rock concerts and bars, tries to find a cure for the chicken flu. Has had issues with substance abuse in the past. I mean, okay. I'm gonna do okay. 37 firefighter. I'm gonna do what has wanted to become a firefighter since they were since he was a little kid. And as he, as a keen wine enthusiast, I'm that was leading straight to fighting the wildfires. Sorry, man. Guess you're gonna have to die. Ah! Yeah. And you live. And then what do I do? Um, fax him, right? Good, good, I understand it might take some time to get used to it. Everyone has gone through that phase. But remember, the lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perish today, as I asked. Did you figure out the best choice? I did. Confident. To be honest, I gave you a simple one to start off with. There are really no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. That is the indisputable law of the cosmos. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines and keep the, keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Have you heard the saying? How did it go? Nothing is more certain than death and taxes. Yes, exactly. You did well. See you tomorrow. Okay, so now we're on day two. Noise. Oh, yes, what is this? Uh... Oh, whoa, 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 well, hold on. You must see this video. Of this. You must see this video of a laughing man dressed as Indiana Jones stealing a rush. Okay, that was random. Is Chicken Flu ever finding a vaccine? A young biochemist dies in a fire at work. Sales of regional. On the rise, heroic firefighters save vineyards from certain doom. Health organizations warn of super flu. Okay, so hold on, what's this one now? I hope you find your out combinations adequate. Here are the few rules for today. Follow them and you'll be okay. I am handing you another same size. Rules today. Mark a human with an end of Mark a human with an engineering or industrial Maria Emily Lang, she's 27, she's an architect. Maria is all about living in the present. Their past long forgotten. Several years ago, they moved to live near the glacier at the northern point. Maria has always loved mount mountaineering, photography, sculpting, and modern dance. She doesn't seem to have anything bad. Olaf Reiner, 35, designer. Music, dogs, drinking. What else can one hope for in life? Olaf is one to enjoy the sweet life of designer and the prestigious business. IT company. They also enjoy making five second videos on the pot. What? What? 
you're dying. Julia Azimila, 20, student. From a young life, Julia had dreamed of conquering the world in order to make make it a better place for animals. Alas, so far they have only reached basic level animal rights activism. They also enjoy reading horoscopes. Oh. There you are, Grim. How was your second day on the job? It's great. I had a good time. Are you guys having a good time? I'm glad. So did you follow the rules properly? Yeah, I did. Great. Continue with the good work. And do not let the tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. You can use more dust spawns if you're out A new day dawns. No special request today. You should know the drill by now. Just follow the rules. Choose the appropriate profiles and send them to me by fax. Rules for the day. Mark two humans with the marker of death. Oh, I'm gonna have to kill two people. Uh, read our new article and post humanist perspective. Um, micro scale steam mechanics should not access and possibly destroy the world. Promising young. Fuck. Promising young Arctic, Arctic wins grand prize from Monsa Sana. Tribute to Ali Ray 09 gathered over 1 million views. Aww. Uh, walk, walk. Coming soon, a down. Dine and Wine Street Festival proceeds going to the left now the local industry. Carbon emissions is down. Right. So who do we have? Andreas Katuswakas. Andreas is a traumatized veteran in, in Marisola Pen Peninsula conflict. Now living on the streets, they are very good with animals and a staunch vegetarian. Even while being in the rough, sometimes no one Sometimes one has just seen too too much suffering and death. Oh shit. You know, I think I already know what I think I'm gonna do with him. Uh Kalumba Hunter, 47, airline pilot. Kalumba is a distinguished war veteran these days. These days a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot they have five children and a wife and a, as a hobby kumba is very interested in okay in religious buildings all right uh irish bird 28 game developer futuristic animal friendly vegan adrenaline junkie on the road uh they spend every minute working to be the best they can be studying exercising working hard irish lives life like Hayden B. Blackburn, age 41, field researcher, geology. Hayden is a geologist who is adamant in their beliefs in the micro scale. Steam mechanics are totally doable. Uh, they dream of creating a micro scale model. That was in here somewhere. I don't remember exactly what's on my head. But Albert David, uh, 54, corrupt CEO. Albert is an incredible human being, as if never. Heard. Who has destroyed so many humane and social systems that neither of them really can stop in the He sounds like a dick, he sounds like a shit killer. Okay, so. Hold on. You die. Now, I'm, I want to kill this guy because he already suffered too much. Like, I would rather put him all out of his misery. I know that sounds fucked up, but. Traumatized veteran living on the streets. No one should live like that. 
And it's not really a game like, oh, I can help them or anything like that. Like, so. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. Uh, he had five kids, so... No man should, like, die like that. That's kind of fucked up. Uh, this guy's young, which is why I'm like, okay, I shouldn't kill him. But then again, like, he lives life on the very fucking edge, so I wouldn't be- I wouldn't doubt if he dies already. Yeah, see, like, why, though? But he's young. So I'm gonna let him go, because he's young. Now you... You popped up something here. Micro Micro scales... Micro scale steam mechanics could access to a new brand dimension and possibly destroy them. So if I let you live. No. No one should have this power. I'm sorry. You're dying. My latest spawn, good evening. Three days you spent with us, how do you feel? Uh Awesome, getting things done, keep the world in balance, you know what I mean? Excellent, this is what I hope to hear. It is important to keep morale up in our line of work, as you may imagine. Now let me take out the files you sent to me. I see you marked more profiles than was required. I do hope this will not become like a daily thing where I have to keep reiterating that you have, have made some mistakes and that you should follow the rules laid out for you properly. Because I really do not feel like doing it constantly. Alas, if this is what it takes. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. Good night and see you tomorrow. So I had to kill only two bodies. Have you looked outside today? It rains. It has been raining for hours. Appropriate to accompany the disappointments within me. Well, here are some rules. Mark three humans at the marker of death. Alright. Uh, fighting game. Blah. Fighting game developer. Uh, Toolish announced new league coming up for Grand Reaper. Is it really hard for people to stop being poor? latest column has the answers. All survived in a plane crash. Hold up, wait, hold on. This makes me think like if I would have killed that um that pilot, he would have taken down a plane with him. Oh no. I need to try all times just blows up along with their work shed while experimenting on my scrum mechanics. Infamous CEO sales their enormous yacht directly beach found impaled on a tree. Yikes. New deal struck at the climate summit. Consumer's quality of life is increasing. Alright, so who do we have? We have Raiko Hisukawa. 32 digital athlete? What is that? Raiko, father of six, has won the championship title for the Grand Reaper 5 eight times, making them prevailing world best at said fighting game. After retiring due to age, they have promoted towards tournament commentary and coaching new players. Hold on, I need three, right? So I think you're living. You're living. You don't seem to do anything stupid. Uh, Jacques Montimontiobiomaya. Thirty-one. Long distance cyclist. Long distance biking. Yup, that's actually pretty much it. I need to ask HR to put me into a different department. Writing these things is driving me insane. If anyone's reading this, please sign my decision at the wait at the water cooler next to that. What? All right. Uh, I'll put you right there in the middle. Uh, Adewale Sinclair Okain, 47, diplomat. Adewale, a former teacher of special education, turned their attention towards diplomacy after the conflict in Kualian a decade ago. Uh, since they have demonstrated themselves as a peerless or 
answer. Diplomacy is easy, easier than caring for kids after all. Uh, again, you're you're gonna be in a baby. Michael McCowington, 23 student. Michael runs an influencer account where it looks like as if their their cat is doing book reviews. Lately, they have been thinking about getting another cat, perhaps one that reviews articles. Michael's quite happy with not having a significant other at the moment. Oh my god, this is sorrow. Lillian Cure, 39, climate scientist. Lillian hails from a small village on the coast where they spent their early years studying etiology. They later inspired them to turn their attention towards global matters to the more multitudinous interrelated networks that make up our planet. Uh, I need so I need two people to die. So I already decided I'm gonna let you live. I'm gonna let you live. Jackass, you're not giving me anything to work with. Wait, so, wait, hold on. Three humans have to die. Oh, so I don't really get a choice. My bad. Right, those three humans. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. This guy's making cat videos. There you are, let us be quick. All the profiles here are just as requested. Excellent work. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out to be such a good and dedicated leader. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may even be promoted to middle management position. Imagine the possibilities. Anyway, I'm quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, bro. It is but a mundane day, nothing out of the ordinary going on, a regular day in the usual district with the typical rule for the day, mark human with the marker of death. Oh, am I supposed to read this down from up? Economics praise, new banking measures, companies going plastic free. Tomorrow, son, there may be hope for us yet. Yeah, scientists on the verge of breakthrough. Is there an end to violent clashes? An unidentified man found dead near the nearby forest. Police suspect murder. What are digital athletes of yesteryear up to these days? Button mashing, not a valid talent tactic. Study funds. Student mold by mountain lion. Tag oil driller sent to the outer space to counter an imminent, intimate asteroid inspect threat. Are we seeing the start of an apocalypse, or is it just climate change? Jesus. Wait, so I gotta do two people. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, Charlie. Caught. Didn't I just have you? Charlie uh, Glock, age 56, fraud CEO. Charlie has been helping their brother, Albert David, hide corporate money and avoiding paying taxes, perhaps even decades. They have also been accused of inside trading and fraud money. They currently live in a mansion in Texas. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Raven Kurshad. 29, professional athlete, raised and joined a monetary uh, successful career as a deadlifter. They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Mira. They didn't find it. Oh, that's sweet. They spend their time going hiking together. Mike Jordan, not to be confused with Michael Jordan, 73, retired, loves bird watching in nature, wrote six books about birds, lives with a wife in the city, is still in good shape and goes to dance classes twice a week. Alright. Bruno Builds, 
43 drill master Bruno is the infamously rough drilling expert who has been working on deep sea oil rigs for countless years to have a tense relationship with her daughter yet have lately been attempting to reconnect and make things work out mm, I don't know how I feel about you Zygdemo Zuzi 25 unemployed for all the uh, available activities of my only likes watching TV playing computer games drinking beer and eating pizza without live stream without even live streaming at all they live with their mother and claim to have no mission in their life other than wasting the world's resources what the fuck Python Justice 27 unemployed copywriter Peyton is a trained writer but always struggles to find work when they aren't trying to they enjoy writing rap lyrics with the street life oh my god no Alright, so who needs to tea humans? I has to be tea humans. Wait, so two humans have to die, right? So I want you to live. You you look like a decent person. Uh I want you to die. You're just an asshole, and literally, you you stated all oh, you got this shit. Like, like you, uh, uh, and I guess, I guess you, and then everybody else lives. Go on living. You could go on living. Even though I don't like what you're doing, you could go on living. What a day, Grim. What a day. Now let us go over your con over your condo first. Good, I seen correct amount of market for vows are things in speed order. Anyway, Grim, you've been here for a long day. I wanted to ask. How does it feel to make such difficult choices? you connected to the world so you're not getting jaded difference but consider the humans in this context do you think it is appropriate the way to deal with them uh not sure i don't think i'm qualified to answer that oh perhaps too difficult a question for you after all you have not been here for very long do you think it's unethical to make the choices you make all this control over many lives unbeknownst to the humans themselves I can't worry too much, this is what needs to be done. I am glad you now bought it to the necessary concerns. Our office is perennial and highly varinated. We have spent eons, eons, crafting our methods and strategies, and we get what we do. Oh, I do apologize. I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Ah, children, yes, there are special cases, something for you, and something for this dude, you will not find any yourself. Hey, good to know, I, I would not like to be with you. Anything else? Uh, no, really. Right, in the I bid you good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, if they would've added children to this, it would've been a lot more difficult than normal. Uh, what? Mark a total of 16 minutes. Mark at least two younger humans. Mark any human with the metal background. Okay. We have seen the principal as a dark time that may have been in the job of the harsh ones. Today is that day. Oh shit. Uh, Cousin Thomas enjoyed news life and disarm disarmament, further peace talks, healthcare systems on the edge of collapse, New Deal struck a climate struggle. Local poet makes through a tough scene. Asteroid threat, a miscalculation. Astronaut drillers brought safety back to Earth. Check this crazed old 
fart, stormed the wedding, and punched the groom in the face. Suspected fraud dies of a heart attack as police and officers come knocking on the door. The prosecutor says arrest was imminent. A house fire caused by a faulty electrical equipment claims the life of a youth. Our small town prodigy moves to the city. We say reach for the... Okay, move this. Uh, Carrie Haven, 32, botanist. Uh, gardening is a uh, favorite pastime, also their line of work. They are growing edible exotic plants, experimenting with different recipes. They are also an expert in natural poisons. You are not safe. Casper Cerula, age 26, teacher, is a prominent right-handed teacher, enjoys playing a lot of tablet role-playing games. In the vein, in the vein of breasts and swords, of carnivorous horrors and death, they are definitely afraid of uh, bugs, critters, and other such crawling beasts. Maybe. Uh, Mavis Undergard, age 66, retired. Mar Mavis is a grandparent with a strange grandchild named Guy, with whom they seek to reconcile. After all, retirement, they move to the calm country home, where they spend most of their time with Uh, maybe. Annabelle Tez, 20, student. Annabelle has ruled themselves becoming either an astrophysicist or an astronaut. The two are somewhat related. They are. They uh, They also enjoy painting, mostly nudes, computer programming, blah blah. blah. Uh, over here. Uh, Blair Presley, 50, plastic surgeon, adult film director. Blair considers their job as a doctor more more of a hobby. They enjoy traveling to foreign lands and shooting movies, given their regular travel agenda. They have three wives and three pictures. Why you're an ass. Yihama, 48, emulologist. For the past 15 years, Ye has spent every day working in the windless uh, concrete bunker testing various vaccines in order to eradicate some of the deadliest diseases in the world during all times they enjoy like the Mint, 20, gang member. Oh, God. Mink comes from an abusive family which ultimately made them very protective of their older sister. Mints would do anything to keep her safe as such they have allied with Tubbs crime boss. Oh, Jesus. Victor Yashin, 47, safety inspector. Victor graduated at the top of their class and made a fast climb to the career ladder, becoming the chief ins chief safety inspector with a local nuclear power plant. They have already spotted several mistakes, possibly preventing accidents. Okay, fuck. Alright. Hold on, hold on, you better move. Okay, rules for today. Mark at least six, total of six humans. Mark at least two younger humans. Mark any humans with a medical background. So for the young humans, I want to say... You're gonna live, and you're gonna live. Even though you're a gang member, you're doing this out of love for your sister. So I got the two youngins. Uh, hold on. You're. I have to make you live. I got two humans, marketing human with a medical background.
then you could die. Because your your skill is poison, and I'll leave you two somewhere else. What? But I marked my six. Isn't that going against what this guy just said? Uh, Alright, so you live. You could die. die. That is 100% fucked up. I just set it off. Ah, uh, Grim, a rough day lies behind you, I assume. New recruits often falter from such dark times. As I thought, you have marked fewer profiles than necessary. What happened? Oh shit. There was so much uh, I, I think so many rows. The world won the options, yes. It is your job to cut straight through it all. You will do well to concentrate harder in the future. Let us hope that the harsh days do not resume. What do you think? you can clean up the mess that happened yesterday the boots that you need. Remember, many troubles left behind. Many, many may lie in it. Mark humans with the marker of death. Spare humans that might help them. Oh god, no. Cosmopolitan city enjoying new investments. Uh, developing countries improve sanitation. New deal struggle. What is astrophysics and aid? What is, what is astrophysics all about anyway? Let me tell you. A man may... New vaccine that could save countless lives nearing completion. Priceless collection of missing porcelain that donated, donated to local museum. A uh, municipal gardener found dead in her home because of death unclear. AI breakthrough of an April Frost. Oh wait, how many people? Two people need to die. Titus Grown, 33, retired. Titus is the latest heir of the noble. As such, they managed to retire at young age and inherited wealth. These days, they spend time lounging around. Uh, I don't know how to say the rest, but it sounds like you're being bummed. David Garber, 34, IT architect, AI researcher. David is the founder of Transmobile Company. Gadgets like smartwatch and digital home assistants. For the past five years, data has been foremost proponent of the algorithms. Uh, Freddie Osborne, 43, unemployed in COVID. Freddie has been homeless for a long time, ever since they escaped from their abusive home. They have always felt like keep, they have always felt like keeping the move, never settling down until they found poetry. Now they go to local poetry with the Jay Jame Jaya Morgan, 40, full-time mother. Jaya is more than four. Uh, the first kid at a really young age. Uh, okay, so you're. Where's my marker? Oh, where's my marker? Alright. 
I don't see what's that for. Um, I guess we're going to leave it off there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe as always. Um, yeah, honestly, I got no words, other words to say. I would love to complete a demo, but my only option is to start over. And I'm kind of out of time already, so I'm sorry, guys. But like I said already, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Catch you guys in the next video. Adios.